Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prons. Today we've got a special guest, Breath of the Lease, free FPV for short, my new baby girl. This is what's been keeping me busy for the last little while. Why we're finally getting into a video is now a couple weeks later. And yes, this is probably a little bit old of a review on a little bit old of something you've already seen from everybody else, but this will be my take on it. But what we got for you guys today is the Happy Model Sailfly little 105 millimeter quadcopter. It's all out weight is 60 grams with a supplied 3S battery that you also get with this. You're also going to get yourself a little sheet here and you're definitely going to want to read the sheet especially if you update anything because if you update Betaflight you need to flip this 90 degrees flip on the flight controller or it's just going to do a uh, flip over on you constantly. So make sure you read this fully when you set this up. It'll tell you how to bind, it'll tell you everything you need to add back in if you update the beta flight on this guy. You're also going to get some props and a second canopy for it. Uh, not sure why, the canopy is pretty tough. You might end up using the new, the uh, second battery holder in it. but. Canopy seems to be pretty tough. Now, the delay on mine was, <clears throat> mine was an early, it wasn't an early release. Nobody sends me anything for review. Uh, that's why everybody else you already see has the Tiny Hawk 2S, and I don't because I have to buy these things. Nobody sends them to me. So, mine, however, was one of the first releases on the release versions that was sent out. Um, so, I got it as early as possible. But, Happy Bottle messed up and sent 1.0 millimeter shaft props with these, not 1.5. So I've been sitting and waiting. Um, I actually got mine from Maker Fire, um, which is wonderful customer service. I've never had a problem with them. I let them know and they immediately sent me uh, some brand new sets of 1.5s, but it took a while to get here. So in the interim, I had to find and try to get some to get some flights and to show you guys. Anyway, long story short, but that's what you get. You get quad yourself itself. You're gonna get the 3S battery, you get prop puller, screwdriver, strap, and some TPU replacements for this one here. Now it is using the Crazy Bee Pro version 2.1 board in it and this is rated for up to 3s and this comes with as you'll see here you have a, you have a capacitor on here that has been pre-soldered into the plug and the reason why that is is because you'll hear a lot about crazy b pros burning out and um, what they found is it's happened the most when switching over to this xt30 connector uh, unless if you just leave it straight, um, five volts, um, the five volt regulator burns out, but they, if you leave it just as it is or use the JST2, then you don't have as many problems. So they're adding a cap immediately to that. And see, my little lamp thray here is wallowing around. Uh, if you add a cap to this, it's preventing them from burning out. And I had no problems with mine at all. So the motors are these 1102-8500 kV Happy Model motors that we've seen on some other things already. Um, um, specifically the Mobula 7 HD. <clears throat> I have enjoyed these motors. I've, I've not had any problems with them personally. And I think they're a decent motor. Now, what else do we got in this guy? So the all-in-one is a 40 channel, 25 milliwatt VTX with a 700 TVL camera. Um, I was filming at sunset, wasn't really impressed by the camera choice we've used here. Uh, everybody's expecting an EOS 2, so using this particular camera I don't know was the best choice but remembering that this is an 80 something dollar depending on where you get it little um, carbon fiber quadcopter so the idea was keeping this micro down to a lower price so you could try something like this instead of building one for yourself which is a little more popular to build them for yourself but this keeps it a somewhat low price as far as our hobby goes in order to test them out so I think, you know, it, it, it could be better, but I understand why it is what it is on this particular guy. Um, this quad itself, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know if you're new in the hobby that you should run out and get one of these unless you're willing to potentially break it and end up with components and possibly break the frame. 
it's really powerful. It's really fast, in my opinion. Uh, again, a, a lot of my guys who are watching have experience, and, and this would be fine for you for an inexpensive one to rip with. But if you're new, I don't know if I would go this route because it is pretty powerful, and it might be. I'm always concerned about pushing somebody into one of these that maybe is a little too much for a new person and it will really make them run away from the hobby. Um, that's, I think, the biggest concern in the hobby right now is it's really easy to get scared out of this thing. If, if you go on Craigslist, if you go on eBay, if you go on um, some of the other ones and look, you'll find people selling out their whole package, their whole gear, their whole setup. And we're trying to break the child's neck because it's hard to find places to fly and it's a very frustrating hobby. So again, if you're new, I would go with something more like, like a Whoop class uh, and get accustomed to it there and then maybe move into these lighter, faster ones. But that's my opinion and everybody's got one just like an asshole. So we'll just leave that at that. Now, uh, it is two millimeter thick carbon fiber so it can take a bit of, of a bang um, uh, with the crazy B board it has the antenna for the receiver underneath which I've always hated um, you can try to mount it up but it's dangerously close to props I just wish they would mount that on the top of the board uh, I just don't like it underneath we also uh, these are 65 millimeter props shafts 1.50 um, these are a little bit hard to get right now these um, because so many people are building little quads like this and this prop is very, very popular right now. Um, so keep that in mind when you get these things. If you have the opportunity to get spares, get spares while you're at it there. Uh, very simple to bind. You just, uh, with this, there is no bind button. You can just type into the CLI of uh, Betaflight the bind commands that you'll find in this manual and you can bind right up to your receiver with your controller no problem at all it is 5 amp per continuous ESE and a 6 amp peak it can handle 2 to 3 S as I mentioned and it also is able to run D8 or D16 if you're running FR Sky like I am and struggling to hold the baby's head up it definitely had power it definitely was <clears throat> equally as good as, as some of the ones I've built um, once again, it is entirely up to you on if you want to build out your own, which you can stay sub $100 if you built out your own, or if you're looking to try these smaller carbon fiber version of these little quads, the deal is definitely there. Uh, look in the links below for any kind of codes I might have on this guy. I got lots of stuff in the bench and we'll be working with Bree quite a bit. Here, right now, she doesn't want to sleep in her own bed, so this is how she sleeps. So a lot of my reviews are going to have her involved until we can get some of this worked out and get everything back to normal. But <clears throat> we definitely have more things in the work. For example, look forward to checking out my FPV Airsoft tank coming soon. As always, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And as always, happy flying. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV-related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways, on YouTube look over here don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin and if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel check that out right here and thanks for coming don't forget to subscribe and happy flying